Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's been a while. This is my first ride back after my surgery. If you didn't know, I had surgery, uh, gallbladder, and some other mess in there. Uh, pancreas infection. It was a pretty bad deal. I uh, spent 11 days in the hospital. It was not, uh, not a good thing. Uh, but I pulled through it. Got it done and got home and been recovering now for the last couple weeks. And, uh, my wife told me this morning said you need to get to go out and make a ride, make a video, and just take it easy. Don't go out too long, you know. But so I thought, well, if I do, I better take the CT125. It's probably the easiest on me. I'm still hurting, not real bad. Just kind of uh, my stitch area because this wasn't a normal gallbladder removal is really a bad one they had to cut me open about eight inch big old cr cut across my guts and get in there and clean it it was a real real big mess and um so definitely got some pain there on the stitch part where they cut it open and basically when i just hit bumps a hard bump so that's why i'm riding on the pavement today i'm not going don't want to try no uh, off-road, definitely, with all the potholes and bumps. So, just going to ride some streets here in Sierra Vista, look around. Maybe find some I haven't been on, which there's a lot I haven't been on. <laughs> Little kid on bicycle. What? Another one over there. But I definitely want to take the time to thank everybody for all their prayers. There have been so many people praying for me and commenting on my last couple little short videos. Talking about being in the hospital, getting out of the hospital and stuff. And thank Kyle Bradshaw. Definitely, he, the guy is a blessing from God to me. He's He uh, he made a video and he prayed and for me and it's really a blessing. But I appreciate everybody for all the prayers they've done uh, of course as you know my only income is my YouTube <laughs> my YouTube and my Amazon store bowls but so I've been kind of tight especially if I don't make videos I don't get paid so you know when you take off as long as I've been off now and I made no videos and there's no videos up so my views will go down because the new videos the more I make the more it keeps the, the views up so when that starts dropping well so does my pay and that's what we live on so it's been tight it's been tough and still will be for a while before I ever get caught back up but I appreciate everything all the prayers that helps I know God answers prayers uh, Jesus Christ is my Savior Thank, thanks for him being there with me the whole time through the hospital. All this mess. I have no idea where I'm going. But thank you for everything. Go check out Mini Bikes if you want to see Kyle Bradshaw's videos. If you're one that uh, does especially adventure riding and you want to know about tires, this is the Tire Guru. The guy knows about tires. He tests a lot of different tires for adventure bikes. And and a lot of the tires that he tests, yes, they're for adventure bikes. Also dual sports. Uh, but real good information with the guy, Kyle Bradshaw at Mini Bikes. You can check out his channel and help support him too. Uh, he also works for Nelson Rig. And... He makes uh, their content, their advertising, and their content for uh, all their videos, all their products. Nelson Rig is one of my biggest sponsors, is Nelson Rig. Of course, Senna is too. And it'd be tough to make it without people like that and their support. They help me out. So, if you guys want to buy Nelson Rig products anytime, 
you go to nelsonrig.com just go to nelsonrig.com if you want luggage for your motorcycle all their rig gear line their motorcycle covers they got a lot of stuff lifetime warranty pretty much everything has a lifetime warranty but you go to nelsonrig.com and use the code woodsman and you're going to save 25 percent off your order and then of course any orders over fifty dollars is free shipping so it's a heck of a good deal and their their stuff is top quality i have nelson rig on here i have a tank bag i have my roll bag back here behind me which i carry my extra tubes and tire tools and everything to change flats uh, i carry extra tubes for this bike and my 300l and i just swap that bike depending on which one i'm riding i swap this bag i'm sorry this roll bag from this bike to the 300L. Then I also have Nelson Rig products that goes on my on the Gold Wing too. Their luggage is wonderful stuff. We um, have been here pretty much pretty close to a year, and I, with, after we sold the house, we didn't have no place to put the motorcycles. So my motorcycles, all three of them, was covered under Nelson Rig covers. And I'm telling you, those you can't beat those covers. They made some really good covers. Super tough. They never faded. They just last and last and last. And they're still, the covers are still perfectly good. I took them, now that I got a container to put my bikes in for a garage, then I don't need the covers on them all the time now. So I uh, put them back in their bags and I'll save them for the next time I need them. But NelsonRig.com, use code WOODSMAN and save Okay. Highway 92. Sierra Vista, Arizona. But I actually been feeling good the last week. I'm mainly, you know, really good. I mean, I'm not much pain. It only the stitch is like where the stitch part is if I twist wrong or bend wrong or yeah, like I say, if I'm if I had a hard bump, I can feel it on the motorcycle. But so I try to take it easy, not go on anything too rough. But I've been feeling great, so hopefully it's it's going to heal good, and I won't have no problems, and I can get back to a normal life. Some normalcy would be nice right now. <laughs> I don't even remember at the hospital a lot of it. My wife and my kids have told me, but a lot of it's, I don't, it's funny that I don't remember. I don't know if it's at, basically before the surgery, I don't remember much of it. Maybe the, when they drugged me out, it wiped my memory, but I, mean, I remember a few things, but I remember going into surgery and talking to the surgeon. Of course, when I uh, had the surgery, you know, it didn't go normal. Uh, I had a uh, pancreatitis and a real bad infection that the surgeon actually said that's the worst they'd seen at that hospital they don't remember anything like that and then the, the same way with my gallbladder is probably one of the worst they've ever had uh, they'd went in and looked at my gallbladder once and it was there <laughs> and then the next time they go back when they start to do the regular gallbladder surgery they go to do it make their small incisions where there was no gallbladder 
they couldn't find it. It was just gone. It just, yeah, I guess it exploded. He said exploded, but it just, there was no gallbladder. So basically that's why they had to make the big eight inch cut is because they had to go in there and there was several surgeons in there working on it trying to get all of that out of there and cleaned out and it was a big mess they had to bring in a, a specialist from another area they brought them in and that really she knew what she was doing and they got it done but i guess it was a long drawn out uh, operation of course for me it was just seconds but <laughs> it was pretty wild i was uh they kept me on IVs and drugs and stuff, and I'm telling you, I was. That's why I probably don't remember much of it. But it's over with now. Thank God. Hopefully, this will stop. I've had this pain for probably a couple years now and I knew there was something wrong every time that um, I would get it it was so much pain I had to just the only way to stop it I could lay on my stomach on the bed and a lot of times it would go away sometimes it wouldn't go away it would be miserable for you know a day or two and uh, go to the doctor. They they didn't know. They give me different things for acid reflux, which I kept telling them it wasn't exactly acid reflux. Basically, it was my pancreas got infected by the gallbladder somehow, and it all just combined into a mess. But uh, I don't know all them doctors' terms. I can't tell you all that stuff. But um, and it finally led up to right before I went in, when I went into the hospital it was bad and it was bad for two days and, and it was worst I'd ever had and I finally I got up one morning there I told Cherry I took me a shower it was bad I was hurting so bad I went and woke her up said hey you're gonna have to take me in the emergency room something's really wrong this time was not like the others and she took me in and of course they had uh they couldn't, it was too much, I guess, for them here. I don't know. They couldn't do uh, the CT scan or something, so they hauled me to Tucson from Sierra Vista at an ambulance ride up there. Ambulance ride in misery. They give me stuff for the pain, but I still had a lot of pain. <laughs> it didn't stop at all. But. Thank you, Jesus, for healing me and being with me through this. Couldn't have made it without the Lord, that's for sure. I'm just riding around this old mall here. Checking out, there's Texas Roadhouse. Man, they got good steaks. So even after the surgery now, and they said, you know, you got to watch what you eat because a lot of stuff, it's greasy foods or certain things will bother you. And so far, I've not noticed anything. I mean, I, I can pretty much eat anything and it, it seems good. I've not had anything really affect me as far as making me sick or any of that. So, which is a good thing. I was hoping it'd be that way. Sometimes you don't. My wife had gallbladder surgery and there's certain things she can't eat. Makes her sick. But I've not had a problem yet. Hopefully I don't. Because I like to eat. Can't deny that. But what a glorious day. It's only supposed to be 78 today. It was like 70 yesterday. Super nice. And we even got out yesterday. My son and daughter-in-law they called yesterday morning invited us to go mini golf with them at tucson so got in their car rode up there with them to tucson went and played mini golf beautiful day it sprinkled a little bit on us up there but uh, we played mini golf and didn't have no pain it was a great day had a real good time i enjoyed that
Uh oh, right turn only. Hmm. Recording. So I uh, have to take these pills. Got a prescription. Of course, the insurance ain't covering them, and I have to buy it. It's five hundred dollars for a bottle. The prescription's for two, and I couldn't afford one. <laughs> Not for a five hundred dollars a bottle, but I did. It kind of hurt, but what are you gonna do? Die, you know? So I had to get them. It's for my pancreas and stupid expensive. Basically, it's it's five dollars a pill, and every time I eat, I have to take two. Every time I eat a meal, or if I eat a snack, I have to take one. So. I've been just trying to not take any more than I have to, not do a snack so I don't have to take another one and make them last. When this bottle runs out, I can't afford another bottle, so I'm just not going to buy it. I'll just have to, hopefully the one bottle is good enough. But $500 for a bottle, how ridiculous is that? It is what it is. Oh well, at least I can get out now on the bike and enjoy the ride and tell everybody how things went and how it's going now and what the future is. I'm going to get back to making my videos. I'm still wanting to do my camping. Kind of, when I was wanting to do my camp trip, solo camping on the CT, that's when this come up, so I kind of ruined that, but hopefully I still get a chance I can go camping here for long. Honda shop is closed on Sunday. Oh man, what a day. Beautiful day. Gotta give me a drink of my water. So, I carry my water in this Nelson Rig bottle holder right here. It's a fuel cell holder, but it also works for bottle, water bottles. It's what I mainly use it for. But, uh, I'm gonna get off here. Give me some drink, then I'll go on another ride. I'll probably make another video after this. But I really appreciate all you guys that's followed. I, like I said, I appreciate all the prayers, all the comments, and, uh, I appreciate Kyle Bradshaw and everybody that helped me out. Thank you for all my sponsors. And we'll get back to normal here for long, hopefully, and I can start riding the 300L and the Gold Wing and do some riding. The weather's beautiful out. Definitely a good time for riding. Nice and cool. Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Click the thumbs up, subscribe down below. We'll catch you all in the next video. Right on.